Hi everyone! Something I haven't done in a while is an AMA video, so I figured it'd be fun to start doing them again. If you don't see your question here, it's probably because someone else asked, I didn't see it, or it was honestly too weird to answer. Before I start, I want to give a thanks to my patrons that are sponsored here and above. Remember that patrons get cool perks such as sneak peeks, and the best way to support my work is by becoming a patron. Anyways, let's turn on the lo-fi and get to the first question by Baltoist. Bees or skunks? Well, skunks have their big floofy tails, but they kind of… well, they stink. Bees don't stink, but they do sting. Actually, the winner is bees, because, well, they make honey. Also, the world would kind of fall apart as we know it without them. Nothing personal to skunks, though, it's just that bees contribute more. Question by Emma. Biggest music hot take? Oh boy, here's one I've been open about before. My biggest music hot take is that a lot of classic rock, particularly from the 70s and maybe even the 80s to a point, really didn't age well. And when I say didn't age well, I don't mean in a yikes sort of way, though there definitely is some of that, but the musicianship isn't that impressive anymore. Look, it's amazing that Jimi Hendrix could solo for hours on end and even play the guitar with his teeth, but today, endless solos are kind of seen as obnoxious and show-offy. Seriously, have you ever actually sat through a Jimi Hendrix album? Again, for its time, it was impressive because many guitar effects were novel and people were on a heck ton of psychedelics. But today, it's just obnoxious. Guitarists should solo and riff where appropriate and make it musical, not just play fast for the sake of playing fast. ACDC is kind of another example. I can appreciate some of their songs, but their songs are also really formulaic and sound the same. Seriously, just play three power chords at mid-tempo, root notes on a bass, and sing about how much you love rock and roll and women, and boom! You got your typical ACDC song. If you think I'm wrong, try to sit through one of their albums. What is your favorite furry movie? So I could be a basic bear and say Zootopia, but I think I'm gonna be slightly less basic and say it's a tie between The Bad Guys and Kung Fu Panda 3. Did y'all know that Brian Cranston is in that movie? <laughs> Yes, Heisenberg himself! Sorry, I I've seen Breaking Bad like 10 times, so I can't unhear that voice when watching KFP3. Also, back to the bad guys. I saw that movie like four times in theaters, and I never get sick of it. I love the message, and I love... him. W well, he's cool, but also... him. Sup, sweetheart? <laughs> Thanks. What kind of honey do you like? Clover, berry, wildflower? There are different kinds. Also, have you ever met a transient in the woods? He's very nice, but don't make him angry, XDDD. Clover because you can put it on anything and it'll taste good. I put it in my coffee, on my cereal, and it's even an ingredient when I make eggnog and hot cocoa. I've also made honey cookies before. Berry honey can be fine on toast. In response to your second question, it's been too long since I've been to the woods, but come on, how bad could it be? The woods are full of friendly folks. How do you keep your fur so pristine and clean? Three face. Easy. I don't use shampoo. I use honey. Not even water, just bathe in a big pool of honey. Oh, yeah, that's good. Why a bear? If you follow me on Twitter, Crusader Pony, you'll know that I've always loved the Jungle Book, and I think the spark that lit the fuse, so to speak, was Baloo. Also, they're big, fuzzy, and huggable. They've got round ears and round tummies. What's not to like? What song did you enjoy making the most, and what song are you most proud of? This is a little hard to answer, so I won't think too much about it. I think Mango Sorbet was a lot of fun because of the rhythmic section. I love the long conga loop and the many different cowbell samples, and it was just so much fun combining Latin percussion with a typical 4-4 thump. At the moment, the song I'm the most proud of is On the Boardwalk. I feel like it's much more epic than other songs I've released in the past year, and I'm so proud of my soloing. Also, because of this song, I've picked up my electric guitar a lot more often. I think I plan on doing more rock-based stuff in the future. Have you ever performed at furry conventions? Yes! Texas Furry Fiesta twice, including once this year. And let's be real, bronies are just diet furries, and I've performed at plenty of brony conventions since 2016. So I guess technically I've performed at a lot of furry cons. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Okay, so my perspective will be a bit weird because I'm half Italian, and I visited Italy a lot of times and had plenty of gelato, but I think it's a tie between stracciatella and bacio. Stracciatella is basically Italian cookies and cream. It's milk-based ice cream with chocolate shavings. Imagine Oreo ice cream, but less sweet, but a lot rich in flavor and definitely thicker texture. Bacho is dark chocolate ice cream with hazelnuts. I'm a sucker for a good nut. Also, fun fact, bacho translates to kiss. 
So if you're ever in a gelato shop in Italy and they ask for what you want, be careful if you just say, un bacio, because they might think you're flirting. I think I'm going to stop right there for this video. Hope this wasn't too long. Do you folks enjoy these types of videos? Let me know if you think I should make more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and remember that the best way to support me is by becoming a patron. For just a dollar a month, you can get cool perks such as sneak peeks of future work. Thanks again for watching. Keep being fuzzy.